Today we will show you how to paint Death Tyrant from Nazareth's Marvelous Miniatures. Hey guys! This is Nisa from Den of Imagination. I have a tutorial on basic level for you. It's going to be Death Tyrant, painted by one of our painters, Maciej, and narrated by Agnieszka. This is a basic level painting tutorial, so if you're new to the painting world, this tutorial is just for you. Now Agnieszka will guide you through the painting experience. Enjoy! Hi guys, and welcome in our new tutorial. Today we are going to paint the Death Tyrant from Whiskey's Dungeons and Dragons series. And here are colors that we are going to use. German Camel Black Brown, Medium Grey, Bone White, Ivory, Magenta Color, Magenta Fluo, Blue Green, Pale Blue Color, Pastel Blue, Black, German Camel Bright Green, and Gloss. Because the Death Tyrant has some transparent parts, First, what we are going to do is to cover them up, to not paint them over during the painting process. Here we are using three different tools for covering. Blue tag, painting tape and liquid mask effect from Vallejo. First, we are using the painting tape. Just take as much tape as you need and cover the chosen parts. Try to cover them completely. It is also better to use small pieces of tape than big ones, because the tape can be sometimes very stiff and not so adjustable. So especially while working with smaller parts, it is easier to take small pieces of tape and cover the surface with them. Try also not to use too much force while putting the tape on the surface. It will be easier later to take it off. You can also use a blue tag. Before applying it, try to mold it a little bit to make it more flexible. And also, if the blue tag will get too thin, it will rip itself and uncover the surface. So apply it thoroughly. Liquid mask has a paint structure, so we are using the brush to adjust it on the chosen areas. Take any brush that will be most comfortable for you. It can also be one of your older ones and just cover the surface with thick and even layer of liquid mask. Do not wet your brush with water to not dilute the effect. And also, before starting to paint the model, you need to wait until this effect will get completely dry, so it will would not mix with the paint. You can also apply the second layer if you're not sure about the first one. So now we are starting with painting. Take German Camel Black Brown and White Brush size 6. We are going to make our first layer. Put a little bit of the paint on your palette and with wet brush start to apply the paint on the surface. For the first layers and for bigger surfaces, the white brushes are best choice. They allow us to cover the surfaces quicker and to create more even layers. While painting, try not to use too much paint, cause that will make our layer too thick. Too thick layer would cover the details of the sculpture. You can avoid that by making two thinner layers, if you do not feel confident with covering the surface with just one. But what is most important is for you to cover the surface evenly. The first layer will not only be our base layer, but also our shadow, and it is vital for the undersurface to not be visible at all, especially in places like recesses or cracks. Give yourself time to really check if you covered everything evenly. Now that our first layer is ready and dry, we can proceed with the second step. Take medium grey color and white brush size 10. We are going to start with the dry brush technique. Take a little bit of the paint and put it on the palette. Then dip the tip of the brush in the paint. Very important thing is that you can't wet your brush. The bristles need to be completely dry. After taking a paint on your brush, 
wipe it out on the paper towel. When the brush will leave like a mist effect on the towel, the brush is ready for use. Start to stroke the surface of the model with quick movements, like you would clean it from the dust. By repeating the movement, you will gradually build the layer of color. Apply it on the whole surface. Dry brush will help us to quickly create an even layer of highlights. Of course, it has its own weaknesses, but for the first layer of highlights on the surfaces with a lot of details like monster skin, it's perfect. It will emphasize even the smallest details. So the tips for the dry brush. The brush needs to be dry. Do not take too much paint on your brush because paint is still a liquid and it may make our brush wet. Wipe out the brush thoroughly. Even if the layer will be too weak at the beginning, with some time you will make it strong enough. It is always easier to add some layer than take off one. With this step we are going to make a second layer of highlights with the dry brush technique again. So take bone white color and with the white brush size 10 apply the second layer of dry brush. But here is the thing. Try to concentrate your movements only on the chosen parts of the model, especially those when you want your light to be stronger. With the previous step we covered our model completely. This time we are using new color for maybe half the surface. We need to see different colors on the surface so the model will not look flat. Even the smallest differences in colors helps to create the illusion of light and thus of a three-dimensional form. And very important part, your brush needs to be clean as well as dry. So if you are cleaning your brush with water, you need to wait until the brush will be dry again. You can use other cleaners that will get dry faster, or you can invest in more brushes to have a clean one next to you. In this scheme, the colors may not differ greatly from one another, but that may not be the case in the future. Dirty brush may change the next color that you're going to use and thus destroy the effect you wanted to achieve. This is even more visible while using darker color before the brighter one. And also, wet brush will cover the surface with thick and granulated layer and it might get in the between the recesses. Now we are going to emphasize the dry brush layer with glaze with the paint of the same color. Take bone white and change your brush for round brush size 3. Mix your paint with water so we have it half transparent. Next wash your brush with water, dry it out on the paper towel and take a little bit of your paint with the tip of your brush. After that, start to apply your paint on the details of the head. Try to avoid the shadows that we achieved with dry brush. So why are you using one color with two different techniques? Dry brush is a technique that always makes the color weaker. So to make our light stronger, we can apply the same color with different techniques like glaze and achieve the transition of the color and different strength of the light. While glazing, you may want to work with layers. Since our paint is half transparent, if you are not satisfied with the tension of the color, you can wait for it to get dry and add another one, until you will get the result that you want. Next is yet another layer of highlights, but this time we will use lining. Take ivory color and round brush size 1. Put your paint on the palette and mix it with water. Next, use the tip of your brush to draw the lines alongside the fractures of the skull. You do not have to paint all the lines, only those on the top of the head when the light falls on directly and those that emphasize the features of the monster face. You do not have to paint all the lines, only those on the top of the head when the light falls on directly and those that emphasize the features of the monster the eye line, cheekbones, the end of the spikes and teeth. With lining, the most important subject is the tip of the brush and the paint density. You should take care that your tip is always sharp. That means, of course, washing your brushes properly, but during the painting itself, you should clean it with water from time to time to keep the bristles clean and wet. So if your tip is disappearing while painting, just wet your brush. The same with paint. If you can't draw a nice line, 
Most likely the paint is too dense, so you should add some water. It is time for wash. We will show you now how you can create your own wash from ordinary paints. Take German Camel Black Brown and Round Brush size 3. Mix your paint with a lot of water. Mix it thoroughly so the paint connects with water completely without the lumps. Paints are made from two main ingredients which is pigment and medium. Medium is what binds the pigments for it to be in a liquid state which means that the water can be used both as a medium and as a dissolver. Wash differ from ordinary paint with different ratio of medium and paint. Compared to paint, wash has more medium than pigment, so what you need to do is to add more water to your paint. Of course, you can also use specific acrylics mediums that are available to you, but water can also be the good choice. So mix your paint with water to have a transparent mix. Next, take your wash and apply it freely on the teeth of the tyrant and any other places that you want your shadows to be darker. If you will apply too much, just take the excess of wash with a clean brush. Now we are going back to lining. Take ivory color again and the round brush size 1. Mix your paint with water to get smooth texture. Clean your brush and with just a little bit of paint, start to draw the lines on the teeth. Thanks to wash, our teeth have now different shades, so even with the same color of lining as the rest of the body, they should still be visibly different. Because of the shape of the surface, you can use the side of the brush instead of the tip. Thanks to that, your brush and hand will be more stable. Of course you can use the side of your brush during lining on the other surfaces too, but there are some places that only the tip can give us a line thin enough. It's time for some red. Take magenta color and run brush size 3. Mix your paint with water for it to be more liquid and apply it on the inside of the eye. Remember also about the holes on the head of the deaf tyrant and inside of the temples. You can apply one layer and wait for it to get dry before applying another one. After waiting for our layer to get dry, we are going to deepen the color with magenta fluor. Fluor paints are more transparent than normal paints, but they have very vibrant color of pigment. It allows to make the color stronger and pop out more, but they need a proper underlayer. The best is the color close to the color of fluor or color that is brighter. So take magenta fluor and apply it generously on the part painted with magenta but only on the half of its surface for us to have two shades of one color. It will give us an effect of the shining eye.
Now take blue green color and one brush size 3 and mix the paint with water. Use it to paint thin layers on the pikes, on the jaw and on the cheekbones to add to them more color. You can also use it to create shadows underneath the pikes on the back of the tyrant head. Cold colors, mostly blues, are a very good choice for the shadows. It is because the cold shade seems to be deeper than warmer ones and thus create the illusion of deepness. Now we will highlight those places that we painted with blue-green. Take pale blue color and white brush size 6. Gently apply this color with dry brush technique. And don't worry, even if you will cover other places with this color, it will only add stronger light to the model. Dry brush is not very precise technique, but by choosing different sizes of the brushes and with the experience, you can use it on most surfaces doesn't matter how big or small they can be. Remember that your brush needs to be clean and dry. And now our model is almost ready. Remember to turn around your model from time to time to see if there is anything else that you would paint or change. Now it is time for the base. Take black color and with round brush size 3 paint the base with even layer. Here you need to be careful because the base has a lot of recesses and cracks, so the paint may not get into them at first try. It will be easier if the paint will be more liquid. Because we covered the transparent parts with liquid mask, you do not have to worry that you will accidentally paint over those parts. So just focus on your base. After applying your first layer, give it the time to get dry and check if there is any places left unpainted. Cover them before taking the next step. We will dry brush the base with pastel blue color. Take your paint, put it on your palette, dip in the tip of your brush in it and then wipe it out on the paper towel. Cover the base with the layer of dry brush. Now take German Camo Bright Green and round brush size 1. Mix your paint with a lot of water to create a wash and use it on the base to add some color to it. 
follow recesses and cracks with your brush. As our model is almost ready, it is now time to take off the covers from the transparent part. When you are taking off the tape, you must be careful. Although the painting tape glue is weak enough for the tape to be taken off smoothly, sometimes it can still destroy our surface. Of course, because our covered parts are unpainted, we do not have this problem. But in the future, you will use the tape on the painted surface. So try to be as gently as you can. Blue tag is less problematic while taking off, but still be careful. While dealing with small parts of it, you can use blue tag to get off the blue tag. It will stick to itself and thus make it easier for us to take it off completely. The mask effect we can also take off by hand. You do not need any additional cleaner. Just use your fingers or tweezers. Now we shall add some color to the tyrant's tentacles. Take magenta fluol and paint the ends of them with it. Like we said before, the fluor paints are more or less transparent, so they are a good choice for the see-through parts of the model. By adding water we can make a very vibrant wash that we can use to make the ends of the tentacles more visible from a distance. Be careful to not add too much water to it. The unpainted and unprimed surface is very smooth, and too liquid paint may not attach itself to it. The last step is gloss to add some shining effect. Use it on the tentacles. While using gloss, do not wet your brush with water, because that may dilute the gloss. And the model is ready.
I hope you guys like this painting tutorial. I really like the finished results. We are really curious about your results too. So take us in Zenith Imagination in your social medias and share your results with us. And don't forget to smash the like button and let us know in the comments section what you think of it. See you in the next one. Bye bye.